Hey everybody, Randy here with an all new Geek World Order video. And today we are at Epcot. And it's kind of a cool day. It's rainy. Just drove through some crazy, crazy traffic and rain. And it kind of just lightened up right as I got here. So hopefully the worst of the rain is over, but we're here for the Flower and Garden Festival. Gonna check things out. This is actually one of the cooler festivals of Epcot. A lot of things to see. Of course, you got the different topiaries, all that cool stuff. And uh, I think we're gonna have a good day here, guys. So hopefully the worst of the rain is over and we can get to enjoying the day. So let's head into the park and uh, start checking things out. All right, so we've got the first of the topiaries here. I uh, got this big old goofy one. Uh, now this one was actually in the park last year. Um, he's holding like a cake for the 50th anniversary. Uh, last year he was closer to the middle and holding Mjolnir. So they changed it up a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with the topiaries this year. So looking forward to exploring more of these. We are experiencing a momentary delay on Spaceship Earth. It's okay. You know what? This is just kind of a chill day anyway. Travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. See? Momentarily delayed. But hey, it's a chill day here at Epcot, so uh, we're just gonna wait it out. So they got their continuing work on the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction here. Um, so they've got some of the outer work done. They've actually got the the Star Cruiser here, so it's cool. It's getting closer and closer to completion, so really cool to see these details coming out here. Well, here's a sad sight. Unfortunately, because it rained so hard and now it's been a little bit windy. Test track is currently closed. So it's kind of sad just you know hearing this ride so quiet and silent. And of course the gust of wind's gonna come in. So hopefully the audio on this video isn't too bad. I'm trying to keep the mic out of it, but man, super sad. No test track right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that's okay, we're gonna just keep making our way around the park here and see what we can find because there should be a food booth right around the corner. All right, our first stop of the Flower and Garden Festival is the Sunshine Griddle right over by Test Track. And we've got the Shrimp and Grits. Dude, this looks so good. Can't wait to try this. All right, so here's a number of topiaries. You got Mickey and Minnie, Daisy, Donald, the Three Caballeros. Uh, these were actually a little further back in the main courtyard last year. Uh, this was actually where the Goofy one was last year. So, so that's cool. They did they did kind of change up the you know the the rows, kind of you know. So it's not the same thing over and over again. So. Kudos to Disney for doing that. They really, you know, they changed it up, made it a little bit different from last year. So definitely appreciate that. So yeah, really, really good photo op spot here. And kind of just look, looking around the back. Oh, that's a nice little detail in the back. Donald's got a bag of seeds with him. So Disney really likes to put the detail in these things. These topiaries are just fantastic they really are i love the detail love the creativity of them so let's keep moving on here all right so we're coming up on the the sorcerer mickey topiaries now so fantasia now if i remember correctly i believe these were the ones that were at the main gate of epcot last year I think I remember it more because of these ones 
the these ostrich ones but if i remember correctly these were the ones at the main gates last year so yeah so once again disney is switching them up pretty good so i like that they're just not doing the same thing over and over again which is perfect so i'm just trying to... oh and then let's get the other details over here more of the characters from fantasia great detail love these things but yeah but yeah definitely these were the ones at the main gates last year and now they're moved kind of this main courtyard right before you get into the world showcase all right so decided we're gonna take the world showcase path that starts with canada and work my way around the other way but i'm not drinking today so honestly really doesn't matter which route i take i know there's the popular debate of where do you start if you're drinking around the world but i'm not drinking today so doesn't really matter so we're gonna start this way around and honestly it's a great day it i think the rain kept a lot of people out of the park today like there's not even a line at starbucks man that's how like not super busy it is today great day to walk around plenty of room to walk so i think i picked a good day to come here it was insane dry like it was raining super heavy when i was driving out here but now that it looks like it's past this area looks like we're gonna have a decent day today so i'm for it let's keep walking around all right here's the peter pan and hook topiary um this year this one is located right outside of the uk pavilion uh last year they were actually more inside the uk pavilion so just a little bit of a different here and then ah uh, dude look at this guy love it once again we're in a phone booth in the uk pavilion I don't see anything moving. Doesn't look like we're traveling through space and time. And honestly, it's really kind of cramped in here. So once again, I'm thinking this is not the TARDIS. Sorry guys, once again, not the TARDIS. All right, so here are the inhabitants of the Hundred Acre Woods, yeah. who and his friends and I think this is the first one I've seen where this is a repeat of where they were last year. Maybe slightly different. Maybe Tigger and Rabbit were switched last year, but the 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 Boo characters were definitely right in front of this building last year. So maybe individual character placements have slightly changed, but this group was definitely here last year. All right, so over here in the UK Pavilion, you've got this display here. Uh, you've got a Tinker Bell. Um, I know last year was like the big teapot, so that's definitely changed this year. So just outside the France Pavilion, we have uh, Lumiere and Cogsworth. I don't remember seeing these last year, so they might be, these might be new topiaries. I could be wrong. Maybe they were in a location that wasn't as prominent but these might actually be new so good to see and honestly some great characters all right so i just waited in line for remy's ratatouille adventure and probably like very shortly from the front of the of the line and the ride breaks down like honestly like five more minutes before the uh on it, no, really, like if it waited another five minutes, I could have had a ride evacuation story to tell. Um, so that's one of the few things I haven't experienced at Disney World is a ride evacuation. 
I know it sounds kind of weird, but I kind of want to experience one. And I was so close. I was so close to experiencing one. But unfortunately, it broke down like so close to the front of the line too. It was just, uh. But we're just gonna keep walking through the World Showcase here and uh, see if we can try a couple more foods today and just kind of see what kind of antics we can get into. So, all right, let's keep moving. All right, so our next stop brings us to the America Pavilion. And so we have a chicken gumbo, which looks and smells awesome. It's really hitting me in the face with the smell, which is great. And we also have uh, Bowden Bites, which are basically like fried rice balls. So I'm looking forward to trying these. All right, guys, so let's dig in here. The gumbo. Oh, that smells really good. Got chicken and sausage, rice. Let me mix it all up here, try to get a good bite of everything. Cheers. Mm. Oh, the flavor is actually really good on this one. Got a nice kick to it, plenty of flavor. So, this is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. bust into one of these uh, Bowden Bites here. Mm. Got some decent flavor to them. The sauce, um, I can't tell what the sauce on top of them is. But the rice is decent. There's definitely some kind of ground meat in there. I think it's a ground pork. Which I think is traditional with these. Like I've had these before in other places. But the Disney ones that like these here I've never had before. But these are actually pretty good. I just cannot tell what the sauce on top is. I'm gonna guess it's some kind of like a mayonnaise based sauce. It's fine. I think of the two items I bought here, I think I prefer the gumbo the best. Um, the Bowden Bites are okay. I've had them other places. Like I've had this dish other places that have done it better. These are, these could have used a little more seasoning, but the gumbo, that's actually really good. All right, let me take one more bite of these. Yeah, these are decent. All right, so I'm gonna finish these up and then uh, keep continuing around the World Showcase here. All right, so we're continuing around the World Showcase. Less than an hour wait for Frozen and it didn't break down. So, yeah, definitely a slow day here at Disney World. Great crowds. Temperatures are good. Honestly, it was a great day to be here. So, yeah. So, yeah, pro tip. If you have an annual pass, come on a rainy day. That's a great power move. You know, come on a rainy day. Great car... It's because... Once the crowds are empty, or once the rain's gone, you're good. <laughs> you're gonna have a great day in the park. Well, as long as, you know, it's not like insanely hot afterwards, but not nah, a day like today where it stayed cool. Perfect day to go to Disney World. So yeah, let's keep wandering around the park. All right, so we're still wandering around the park. Had to go had to go in and get my pin so i got my annual pass holder pin for the 
the festival. Um, test track was briefly open and then broke down again. So that's sort of been the story of the day, but I actually wasn't expecting to go on a lot of rides because I figured, oh, it's Saturday, it's gonna be busy. But then the rains kept the crowds out of the park, so. But now the ones, that, but now the rides I wanna go on just aren't operating right now, <laughs> so. I mean, I'm not really like disappointed because as I said, I thought, like I said, I thought weren't gonna be able to go on a lot of rides today, but ah, crowd level has actually been pretty nice today, so. And it's really pleasant temperature wise, so it's been kind of a good day just to wander around and just kind of see what's going on. All right, so I got off living with the land. Of course, as you know, it's a favorite of mine. Sentimental, personal reasons. But, you know, I know the ride gets a lot of flack. People say it's boring. Well, don't disrespect living with the land. I will fight you. All right, so we've got Bambi and Thumper and I'm completely forgetting the name of the skunk, so light me up in the comments because y'all are going to tell me, y'all are going to tell me I completely blew it and yes I did. I know these were somewhere back over there. They, these are in a very different position than they were last year, I know that much. Um, and I forget they have like a butterfly garden here during the festival. I never went through it last year, but it looks like it's closed for the day, so moving on. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk straight up here because I don't even see like there's not even a light on. There's not even a wait time indicator. Like literally, the standby entrance has they're not even flashing a number up there. I'm just gonna assume this is gonna be a walk up. But let's just put this to the test right now. Come on. Hello, welcome. Well, we can walk through Figment. It is very hard to determine this because nobody's walking is the problem. Oh. So there actually is a wait. It probably won't be super long, but yeah, there's actually a wait here today, surprisingly. All right, guys, so managed to hit a couple more rides before I was done for the day, but I got in what I wanted to do today, so we're good. I think they'll end this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. All that good stuff, and I will see you next time.